Hello friends and happy Saturday. So today I'm not going to do much. I have to go pick up a Target order and then I have to run to the grocery store because Myla comes home tomorrow. So I'm not going to put any makeup on today. I was about to do my skincare when I thought, why not film a quick little video? Because um, there is a product that has gone major viral on most platforms. It's available on Amazon. It's available at Ulta now. Um, and that product is the Advanced Snail Mucin Power Essence. I'm sure you have all heard of this product. I ordered mine from Amazon and I've been using it for at least three weeks now. So as you can see, a little bit goes a long way because I only have like that much gone from my bottle. So yeah, this will last you a really long time. So um, I thought I could show you all the correct way to apply this because we're all spending our money on it, right? we'd like to see the most benefit uh, from the product and um, not everybody is using it properly. In fact, I wasn't using it properly at first. I was just kind of rubbing it in circular motions all over my face. There is a specific way to use the product and after I started using it the correct way, I did start to notice more results, which was really exciting. So since doing it the right way this has truly become one of my favorite products that i own uh, one of my favorite skincare products it sits at the top of my list like honestly probably top three there's a fly in here <sighs> you know i shouldn't have left the window open freaked out by the fly but i rubbed snail mucin all over my face you know what whatever is going to give me like young rejuvenated skin so i'm not going to make this some long drawn out process that you're going to have to fast forward through there is one thing though that I wanna do before we uh, get into applying it onto the face uh, and I'm gonna do my skincare routine, like a mini skincare routine so that I can show you when to use it, which step to use it in. Um, Portia just cuddled up with my MacBook. No, I'm not even kidding. You guys have to see this. Do you see her? Do you see that little paw? That's her little schnoz. Why is this product great? Who can use this product? So on and so forth. So let's quickly go over that. Seriously, give me 30 seconds to explain it and then we will apply, okay? This moisturizes the skin and it promotes collagen production. That's a huge one. I started taking skincare seriously when I got into like my late 20s. I really, really started to educate myself, learn about skincare. What do, what kind of skin do I have? What kind of products do I need? And also what do I not need? Because there's so much out there. It can be overwhelming and we waste our money. The most important thing is to kind of learn about your skin and your body so that you can choose the right products for you. So that's a really, really good place to start. Back to the benefits of the snail mucin. So this moisturizes the skin and it promotes collagen production. This also aids skin healing and regeneration. With that being said, it helps with scarring. So I am like trying to think, I have one scar on my knee. I'm gonna start applying this to one of my scars, a scar that I've had forever. So I don't know if it'll do anything, but I do want to um, put this on one of my scars that I have on my legs just to kind of see um, if it will do anything. It was absolutely used as a healing aid. Now that we kind of see the collagen promote aids and the moisturizing particles, we're all on board to rub snail mucin all over our face. And most of the writing here, as you can see, is Korean. The other reason why I'd say a lot of people didn't quite understand how to use this product, number one, you can't really read anything on the bottle. The only thing you can read is the directions and it literally says apply evenly to face so they don't give you they don't give you too much too much info let's get into this let me put my hair up okay so the first question is when in my skincare routine do i use the snail mucin so you're going to use this product after toner but before moisturizer this is very important um, because the toner that we are using before the snail mucin, it's actually a part of the application process. And I know that sounds confusing. Let me explain. Before I can apply this snail mucin, I have to apply my toner. Now, I have nothing on my face. I did my skincare last night. I have not applied anything to my face since then. So I'm essentially just kind of gonna do my skincare over again, which is fine. You can use whatever toner you prefer. I today i'm using glow recipes watermelon glow this is the pha and bha pore tight toner um this one is in my amazon storefront under skincare but this is not the only toner that i like i like a lot of toners i'm going to be doing something here that i don't recommend to you and that is 
pouring this directly on the face, um, you want to use some sort of cotton pad. It's one of those do as I say, not as I do things, but it's okay, I'll survive. This is after you'd wash your face is when you would be doing all of this, right? When your face is clean and fresh, you took your makeup off, you used your cleanser, now we're at toner, right? All right, so we're rubbing our toner into our skin pretty well. Here is the important part. Do not rub your toner all the way in. Your toner still needs to be wet on your face to get the most out of this nail mucin. So I'm really making sure that my face is still wet from the toner. It hasn't totally dried down yet, okay? And now we're gonna immediately go in with this while our face is wet from the toner, if I didn't say that enough. So you're gonna get a couple pumps of this snail mucin, okay? Go in with your other hand, mix, mix a little bit. Now, pat this into your skin. This is how the snail mucin is to be applied to the face. Over top of a wet toner, and we are not going in circuit, we're not applying it like we would apply moisturizer. We're applying it now. Obviously, when you are under the eyes, you want to press as lightly as possible. And you're gonna notice. If if you were using this before and you were rubbing it in like I was, I you're going to notice a difference using it this way. I've only been doing it for like a week now and I already noticed a difference. Cheating a little bit because I had to get it up there on my forehead. Okay. I choose to also put this on my neck because your neck is the first thing to age. So because I had such, I'm having such good luck with this product, I'm, I'm gonna throw it on my neck, babe. I'm gonna throw it on my neck. You best believe I'm gonna be throwing this product all over my body if I keep seeing good results like this. I just know everybody's buying it and I wanna ensure that everybody's using it the proper way so that they're actually getting their money's worth. Okay, while we're patting this into the skin, let's talk about who is a good candidate for this product, okay? Who's a good person to use snail mucin on their face? Um, well, that's one of the coolest parts about this product, anybody. Um, anybody can use this product. It is for all skin types. However, it is said to really, really help people with dry skin. So if you have dry skin, this is phenomenal, but the cool thing about this product is, is that people with oily skin can also use it as well. I'm gonna wait for that to dry down um, till it's basically completely dry, and then I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. Um, I've been using the Versed Dew Point Moisturizer a lot. Yesterday, I was debating on buying the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Um, it's literally so expensive, so that's why I was strongly debating. Um, but I believe in spending money on skincare. I believe that is an investment into your youth and your appearance, so skincare. Like, I'll shop at drugstore for makeup, and I'll spend more money on my skincare. If I, you know what I mean, had to kind of divvy and choose. I also don't buy coffee. Like I don't buy Starbucks. I don't, unless Milo wants it, but I don't. So I kind of like sacrifice in other areas so that I can do things like spend a little bit more money on my skincare, if that makes any sense. But I wasn't 100% sold and I didn't know if I wanted to do it. So I grabbed three samples from Sephora because if you didn't know, you are able to do that. So that way I have enough of the magic cream to actually see if I like it because Trying a skincare product one time is not, you're, you're not going to know if, if you like it or not. You, you, you need to use it like a few times or maybe for a week. So I'll get as much as I can out of these little guys. So that's what I will be putting on today. But I don't know if this camera is going to do justice for what my skin looks like with this snail mucin. Like I feel it's, it's shiny and it's tightening and I love it. So that is right after applying the snail mucin. Let's go ahead and finish up um, skincare just so I can show you what I do. One other product that I wanna try, I've been using the Super Goop Glow Screen and I do absolutely love it. It makes me look tan and shiny. But I got the mini version of the Tatcha sunscreen because the Super Goop one has been burning my eyes. Um, I understand that the properties that like keep the sun from affecting your skin are probably what's burning my eyes. But we we're trying a new one. 
It's the cutest little bottle, look at this. Obviously, you use whatever sunscreen you want. Like I said, the super goop, this glow, I love it, I really do. This is what I usually use every day. That is more affordable. So I recommend that if you're looking for a good sunscreen. But this I just got in the mini for like 20 some dollars because I wanna try it. It's very watery, first impression. Holy shit. Wow, is that liquidy. Look at it guys, it's like water. But their products do seem like very thin and almost water-based. Oh, but it feels so good. You guys, I think this product's worth it. I use that glow screen because it's so shiny and I like the way it makes my face look. I do that last. All right, listen, mama's going a little bit out of order here because I was real excited about this and now I'm gonna put, I'm now I'm gonna do my face moisturizer. Normally I should have done that the other way around, but that's okay. So I really, really like the Tatcha sunscreen. It's less glowy than the glow screen. It still has a beautiful glow to it, as you can see. A really pretty finish. In fact, if the if the Super Goop glow screen is too much glow and too much like shine for you, this Tasha one is pretty good. You could do what I did and get the little sample. I mean, look at me over here. I'm not wasting my money, babe. I'm not getting anything until I know that it's right for me and my skin, okay? So I'm gonna be using these little fellers. And if I'm still not convinced when I'm done with the three of these and I need to grab like one or two more, Charlotte Tilbury will survive, I promise you that much. <laughs> She's selling enough of her little highlight wand. All right, here's what I'm gonna say right now. The combination of the Tatcha sunscreen and the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream is phenomenal. Like insane. And regardless of which one you would do first, it's the mixture of the two, I feel it. Oh my God. <gasps> this might be it for me. This might be it for me this summer. The Tatcha sunscreen with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I think that's gonna be my summer combination. And if you're like, that's so expensive though, then stop buying Starbucks. Yeah, I'm calling you out, stop. Stop getting DoorDash. I'm so dead ass serious, you guys. I don't, I don't buy coffee, I don't do DoorDash, I don't do any of that shit, cause that's why it's there for convenience and so that we all fall victim to it and then we're never gonna be able to live without it. In fact, I stopped drinking coffee in the morning, which if you know me, that's like a really big deal. Um, not because I don't like coffee, I love coffee. I don't wanna be dependent to it anymore. I don't wanna have a headache when I don't have it. I'm trying to start my mornings, end my nights and start my mornings with um, cucumber lemon water. On this time, actually, I'll treat myself with like a Stanley filled with Coca-Cola. And then like, I really enjoy it because it's like a treat to myself. I used to just do whatever the hell I wanted all the time, but I'm trying to be more disciplined. So there we have it. Um, I have no makeup on, obviously. I do have some lash extensions on, so there's that. But besides the lash extensions, you guys, this is, this is all me. This is all skincare right here. It makes a difference to take care of your skin, to take the time to do it every night. It makes a difference to um, invest in your skincare. Um, if there's like a certain makeup brand or product that's expensive that you maybe can live without or find a good dupe for, you don't have to spend more money on skincare. You can cancel other things out or not shop as much or not buy coffee as much. Like I said, there are ways to invest in your skincare without spending a whole bunch of extra money, right? Um, skincare is an investment, it's worth it. Our neck, it ages the quickest. It's so important that we take care of it. Put sunscreen on your neck, put your lotions on your neck. The snail mucin is great for it, again, because of the collagen aspect and the firming. Um, but yeah, I hope this quick little snail mucin video was helpful for you guys. I hope that you now understand how to apply it, when to apply it, and who it is good for. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know. I'll do my best to get you the correct answers. Obviously, I didn't come up with this product. It's not mine. I'm just a firm believer in the product. I utilize it every single day. So I just wanted to come on here and help because I know how poppin' it is right now on the internet. So um, yeah. I love you guys and let's all have glowy shiny skin together and be like 50 year olds who look like we're 30. My prayer to God tonight, my gratitude for the day is I'm grateful that I was alive in the era of snail mucin. All right, that's my gratitude of the day. What's yours? Put it in the comments. What are you grateful for today? Right now, do it.
right now. I want to see it. Okay, bye. Love you. <laughs>